Okay, for this project, I'm going to be using Caron Simply Soft. This is a worsted weight four ply acrylic. And I have a few different colors that I'm going to be using. But you use whatever colors you want, or however many colors you want to use. And then I'm going to be using a size H. It's a five millimeter crochet hook. And then you're going to need some type of a, a buckle. I got this buckle off an old purse that I got in an auction. But you can find buckles on the internet if you don't have any old purses or anything. And that is if you don't want to put a buckle on it. You don't even have to do that, but that's completely up to you. And I got off the same purse. I'm going to use the handles that I got from it. And you can make handles, though, if you don't have any handles just make them with yarn is fine okay you want to start off with a chain of 35 and then I'm gonna double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook and we don't count the one that's on our hook so one two three and the fourth one and now I'm gonna work my way across putting one double crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. So just like that, all the way to the end of your chain. Okay, I made it to the end here of my chain and in this last stitch right here I want to do five double crochets in the last stitch. So there's one, two, three, here's five, and now I'm just going to kind of turn my work and start working on the other side of the chain. I apologize for this dark yarn. Right here is where I put the five double crochet so I'm just going to start again in the next stitch putting one double crochet in each stitch. Just like we did on the other side. And I want to put one double crochet in each stitch all the way down this side of the chain. Till I get down to this end. Break it down to this side of your chain. When you get to the very, very last stitch, you can see it right here before you get to this little chain here. You want to put five double crochets in that last stitch to match the other side. And then you just want to kind of turn it and slip stitch into the top of this little chain, beginning chain thing right here. So just right into the top of it and slip stitch. And that closes that round out. And that's what you have so far. So now we're going to start again by chaining three. And that chain three is going to count as a double crochet. Now you want to go ba back into the exact same stitch that you just slip stitched into and put another double crochet. That way you got two double crochets in that same stitch, counting that chain three. And then you want to jump over to the next stitch right here and put two double crochets in that stitch also. Just like that. And now we're just going to work our way across putting one double crochet in each stitch until I get down to the other side. I made it 
down to the other end and I'll show you where what, what stitch we need to be in. You can see the five right here in the quarter that we did on the last round. We want to be in two, the second one before it. So not this one, but this one. And I want to put two double crochets in this stitch and two double crochets in this one. So go ahead and put two. And then to the next one, you want to put two again. And then we're, we're at the corner where we have the five double crochets. You want to put two double crochets in each of these five stitches. So two in each of them. This is making the bottom of the bag, uh, it makes it fatter on the ends. makes a large oval shape I guess. That's what we want. Okay, I got I put two double crochets in the five in the corner. Now I'm just gonna turn it and we're gonna be working on the opposite side again. And now I want to put two double crochets in the first two stitches so it matches the other side over here. So two in this one and two in this one. And now I'm just going to continue across putting one double crochet in every stitch until I get down to the other end. Down to this end and I want to make this end match this end. So I'm going to start in two before the five that are in the corner just like we did over there. So this one and this one. And put two double crochets in each of them. And then I want to put two double crochets in each of the five stitches that are in the corner. And then we're back to where we started. And remember in the beginning we put two double crochets in each of the first two stitches. So that matches now with the other side. So now what we want to do is just slip stitch into the top of that first chain three. And that means both sides match and we can close that round out. And that's what we have now. And now this time I'm just going to do a chain three. And that's going to count as a double crochet again. And now I'm just going to work my way around now, putting one double crochet in every stitch all the way around. So no, no more increases. It's just one double in every stitch all the way around your oval and back to the beginning. I made it all the way around with the one double crochet in every stitch and again I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my beginning chain three like that. Now this time around I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go back into the same stitch that I just slip stitched into and single crochet. And then I'm going to work my way around in every stitch I'm going to put one single crochet this time around. One single in every stitch around. Just like this. 
all the way around our entire, entire uh, oval. Just one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm going to work my way around and I'll meet you back up over here and then we'll do a color change. I made it around after doing one single crochet in every stitch and I'm going to switch colors here. Now you don't have to switch colors if you don't want. You can make it one solid color. But if you want to, I'll show you how real quick. Um, I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of my first single crochet. But instead of bringing this color through, I'm going to bring clip it off and I'm going to bring my other my new color through. Like this. Like that. And now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to tie this a loose knot in it that I can take out later. I know you're not supposed to tie knots in your crochet work, but that's how I do it. So, I mean, if you don't want to do it this way, you don't have to. But I'll take the knot out later when I tie in my tails. I'm just tying it now so it doesn't slip away from me while I'm using it. I don't like that. I don't like that. I like it to be stay in place. Okay, now we're going to start our repeat rows for the rest of the, of the main portion of the bag. So I'm going to start with a chain three, which is acting as a double crochet. And I'm going to jump over to the next stitch, which is not our chain three stitch, but our next one. Not the single crochet, but the double crochet below it. And I'm going to do a front post triple crochet around this double crochet post. So I'm going to yarn over twice like a triple crochet. And I'm going to go around the post of that double crochet. We're just skipping this row of, we're not doing anything in this single crochet up here, but go around the post and do a front post triple crochet. So it's just like a regular triple only around that post of that double crochet. And now I'm just going to go to the next stitch, which is the single crochet and double crochet in it. Just one regular double crochet. Like that. And now I'm going to go to the next post of the next double crochet and do our front post triple again. So you got to make sure it's, it's not this one because we did the double crochet up here in that single crochet. So we have to go to this one right here. And we want to pull it up, pull it up to make it easier. And do a front post triple crochet around that post. Like that. And then we will just do a regular double crochet in the net top of the next stitch, which is that single crochet. So regular double. And now we're going to do a front post triple crochet around the next double crochet down here. So it's not that one. We got to go to this one. So you front post triple around that double crochet down here. Like that. And then we'll just come up to the next stitch and double crochet in that single, or yeah, in that single crochet right here. And that's the repeat around for this round. Go over to the next stitch right here. front post triple crochet around that double crochet. And then double crochet in the next single crochet which is right here. Front post triple around the next double crochet. This one right here. Right around the post of it. And then just do a regular double crochet up in the, in the next single crochet. So you just want to repeat this pattern all the way around. And that's what it's starting to look like until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I made it around and that's what it kind of looks like. If you've been following me along, it should come out even right here. So 
So what you want to do now is just slip stitch into the top of this first chain three. Like that. Here we go. Now after every time that we do one of these rows of um, triple crochet posts around the post, we have to do a row single crochet after it. So that's what we're going to do now. So now I'm just going to chain one and I'm going to go back into the same stitch and single crochet. And then I'm going to single crochet in the top of every stitch all the way around. Make sure you're going in the top of every stitch. We don't want to miss any because we want to make sure it comes out even every time. So I'm just going to go around adding one single crochet in the top of every stitch. And just like that, all the way back to the beginning. Okay, I made it back around after that row of single crochet. And I'm going to do a color change here again. And you don't have to do color changes, but if you want to, it's best to do them when you're getting right after you do this row of single crochet and you're going to start your row of posts. I think it looks best when you change colors in. But you can change colors wherever you want. It's really up to you. But I'm just going to clip this yarn off and I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my first single crochet and I'm just going to pull my new color through. And then put a little knot back here with it. And now I can start with my new color. Now we're going to do this row of post triple crochet, uh, front post triple crochets again. But we're actually going to do it, do it um, opposite of what we just did. Like we're going to do it around these double crochets instead of around these, if that makes sense. So I'm actually just going to, I'm going to start off by slip stitching over here into the top of this next single crochet. So I'm just going to slip stitch over into it. There we go. That way I'm starting here instead of on this. Um, instead of trying to do a triple crochet around this post, it's easier to do it at the end than right at the beginning. So I'm going to start with a double crochet, so I'm going to do a chain three instead. That's how I'm going to start. That's going to count as a double crochet. And now I'm going to jump over to this next double crochet right here and do a front post triple crochet around it. So right around the post and triple crochet. We're doing the same thing we did earlier, we're just doing it on opposite spaces. And now I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch, so right up here in this single crochet, just regular double. Come over here to this double here, front post, triple crochet, around the whole double, po double crochet post. And then regular double crochet right here, the top of this, the next single crochet. Front post triple around the next double crochet post. Regular double crochet in the next single crochet. Front post triple around this double, next double crochet post. And that's the repeat pattern this time around. Double crochet in the next stitch. So this is kind of what it starts to look like. The posts are kind of just, they're just kind of opposite each other. That's the way it looks. So I'm just going to repeat this all the way around back to the beginning. Okay, I'm coming around again to the beginning. 
and you can see that my last triple crochet is going to be around this chain three that we did that's acting as a double like that and then again I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my beginning chain three from this first round right here like that now I got to do my row of single crochet now so I'm just going to chain one go back into the same stitch single crochet I want to make sure you're getting this stitch too Some sometimes when you go into that that chain three it makes this stitch look like it doesn't exist but make sure you go into it otherwise it won't be equal here when we when you go back around in the beginning like that so now it's just one single crochet in every stitch and that's kind of the repeat now these two rows are just opposite each other so after I get back around I'll switch colors again and I'll work this row again you can kind of see the pattern it's wherever there's the double crochet like when I get back around my front post triple cro crochets are gonna go where these double crochets are and my double crochets will go into the top of the single crochets above these triple posts and in the next row it'll just be opposite so it's just these two rows is what we're repeating with a single crochet in between them it's real easy so like I said if you want to switch colors I always switch them after this row of single crochet when I'm doing the post row I think it turns out better that way makes it look more uh, like it's supposed to look so I'm just going to keep repeating these rows here this row is what's going to be next and then the row single then this row and then it's going to be the row single all the way till I get my bag a little taller now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do but I'll let you know here in just a second how many total rows I do okay I went ahead I'll show you what I did starting with this first row I've done a total of nine color changes so nine sets of the post and the single crochet rows all the way to the top and of course you can make yours bigger if you want and then I just tied off my yarn when I was done and I ended in the, the the last row of single crochet I did my post and then a single crochet and then I ended now I'm going to put a flap on it and I'm just going to continue Uh, with the same color that would come next um, you want to get a couple stitch markers and what you're going to do is lay it out flat start here up here in the corner and count over S seven stitches and put a stitch marker I'm just going to use this piece of yarn And then you want to do the same on the other side. Start from the corner, count over seven stitches. And that's where I'm going to make my flap go. So, and if you want it to come in more than that, just, you can. Just make it go in more. It's up to you. So, I'm going to start with my next color that I would have used. And just look and see where your stitch marker is here. You see this is the triple crochet post. So I'm actually going to start, since it's in the, my stitch marker is in the stitch above it, I'm going to start with a double crochet there. So I'm just going to start off. And I'm going to start with a chain of three, and that's going to count as my double crochet. And then I'm going to come over here to the next stitch and do my triple crochet around the post of this double crochet. So now I'm just doing the same thing that I did before. And then I'm going to do a double crochet in the next stitch. Triple crochet around the post of this next double crochet. double crochet into the next stitch so this is the same pattern you just want to repeat it 
until we get to our stitch marker on the other end. To the end down here where my stitch marker is, and I did a um, front post triple crochet and this double crochet, and I'm just going to take my stitch marker out. Now I'm just going to chain one and turn. So it's kind of similar, except for we're turning and we're not working it around. Now I'm just going to single crochet in every stitch across, and this will take me back to the other end where we'll do a color change and start again. Okay, I'm coming to the end here after this row of single crochets and you want to make sure that your last single crochet is in that chain three that we did at the beginning and then I'm going to tie off here and then I'll just start a new color I'm going to tie off at the end of every color so I'll turn my work back over and I'm going to start my new color up here in this, this stitch that we just ended in. I'm going to start off. I need to do, since this is a, was a double crochet, I need to do a triple front post crochet around it. So I'm going to actually do a chain of two and then I'm going to do go ahead and go back around the post and do my triple crochet like that and then I'm going to go to the next stitch and double crochet and then again right here it's going to be my triple front post so it's kind of just repeating it's the same thing that we just did earlier except we're working in a, a back and forth instead of a round like that so I'm just going to repeat this all the way to the end over here made it to the end and I just did my last double crochet right up here in the single crochet I'm going to chain one and turn Now I'm going to go across again, putting one single crochet in every stitch. And I'm starting with the very, very first one, too. So I'm just going to work my way across, doing putting one single crochet in every stitch. And I'm just going to keep repeating these rows. I'm just going to, when I get to the end, I'll just tie off, switch colors, and I'll start again. Just like we were doing down here. It's basically the same except we're just going back and forth instead of around. So you want to do this for as long as you want your flap to be. And I'll let you know how many total rows I do for my flap here in just one second. Okay, I went ahead and did five rows for my flap. You can do more if you want. Now I'm going to go around it with a few rows of single crochet. So I'm going to start. Up here in the corner of it, right up here. And some of these stitches you're not going to be able to see that well because you're working on the sides of these triple crochets and stuff. But just do your best to evenly space out. I just went in and chained one. Evenly space out. Um, oh, a single crochet. Evenly space out your single crochets all the way around your piece. that like I'm doing 
I'm doing the best I can. Some of it's, they're hard to see. I get up here to the corner I'm gonna put two double crochets in each corner and I'm just gonna turn it and work my way across again the top part of the flap putting one single crochet in every stitch And I'm going to do it all the way across around this corner and back up to here. Okay, I've made it around and I put one single crochet in every stitch of the flap and I'm just going to continue putting one single crochet uh, in every stitch around the top of the bag now. I'm just continuing along around this top front part here. And I'll continue until I get to where I started at over here on the flat part. Okay, I'm back to where I started here. There's my flap. I'm just going to go around again with another row of single crochet. So I'm just going to jump over to my first single crochet and then continue around putting one single crochet in every stitch again all the way around my flap and all the way around the front part of my bag just like we did until I get back here to my starting point so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and I'll meet back up with you right back at the starting point back around again to the beginning and I'm just going to slip stitch into my first single crochet and then tie that off and hide that tail which I'll do that in a minute but okay if you want to keep going around and making that thicker too I mean, you can. It's up to you. If you want the back to be thicker around the around the flap. Okay. Okay. I got a buckle and then my my handle. There's also my handle on probably after it's over. I'm just gonna use my yarn needle and sew it on here. Around with the rings with a piece of yarn and a yarn needle. Just but you can make any kind of handle you want. But I'm just going to put one long. This this one I have from here to here. But um, you can do. If you don't have um, that type. You can make your own handle. Just whatever you want. And the buckle. I'm just going to sew it on here. And make a little strap. Um, I'm going to find the center of my flap. So I'm just going to count my stitches. Now 
Okay, I'm going to go in 17 stitches. And that's about my center. And you find the center of yours in case yours is a little different because we kind of just evenly spaced them single crochets out. So, And that is even if you want to put a buckle and stuff on it. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to flip it upside down here. That way my stitches are going the right way. And I'm going to start two stitches over from my center point. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go back into that same stitch and single crochet. And I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch. And then the next stitch will be my stitch marker stitch. I'm going to single crochet in that and pull out my stitch marker. And then I'm going to single crochet in the next two stitches. So that's five stitches total. And I'm going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to go across again with the row of single crochet. And that's all this is going to be is this uh, some rows of single crochet until I get my flap is or my strap as big as I want. Chain one and turn. Really depends on however long you want it to be. Again, one single crochet in every stitch. And if you have a bigger buckle, you might want to use a bigger flap or a bigger strap. Keep calling it a, a flap, a bigger strap to fit your buckle. I'm just using my making mine as big to fit inside my buckle. So I mean, you don't just have to use five stitches. You can use as many as you want, or no strap. It's completely up to you. But I'm going to continue doing rows of single crochet until I get my strap as long as I want it to be. My strap made, I did about 15 rows, but you do as many as you want. And then I'm just going to sew. One last thing I'm going to do here is throw my buckle on. You just decide where you want to put it. Now there's different types of buckles that you can, there's the ones that have this in the center and you can sew along that. And sometimes they don't have that, so you just have to sew along the back part. But to sew it on, I'm just going to kind of decide where I want to put it. Probably right about along this line. And make sure it's going to line up. And then I'm just going to use my yarn needle and sew it on. And after this, I'm going to sew on my handles the same way, just like this with my yarn needle and stuff. You can just make, if you don't have them handles, just make, you can make one long handle, it would look really good, and sew it onto the sides up there. That's what I was going to do, but then I just decided to use this handle, just so it kind of matched. But I'm going to go ahead and finish sewing on this buckle here. I got my buckle sewed on there. That. And then the handles, like I said, I'm just going to do them the same way with my yarn needle. And they're going to go right up here in the corners. If you have rings, you can also make little straps to go through, little straps to hang on with, but I'm just going to sew mine on right quick. So I'm going to go ahead and get this sewed on. Okay, that's it. I got it all finished. I got my handles sewed on and my buckle and I still got a few more tails to hide, but that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you can always get messages of when I upload new tutorials. Um, don't forget to check me out on Facebook too, and you can post all your crochet items on there. And until next time, have a good day.